Because he was taking your picture. No, he's yeah, and there's a good card. Okay. My dad's having A1C. Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Claudio Kiala from Angola. And uh, my research paper uh, is about hip hop in young people's life and uh, how it affects the society. Uh, the, the main topic is hip hop in young people's life. Uh, against the society values. And for those who might not know about hip hop, uh, we know that hip hop is not a strange word for many of us. I mean, we, we listen, we hear it on internet, we see it on television, uh, and, I mean, it's everywhere. So, hip hop is a, it's, it's a cultural movement that has uh, begun in African American uh, communities in New York, uh, prop uh, most, most probably in Bronx. And hip hop is a cultural movement that has four elements. And they are MCs, MCing, uh, DJ, uh, graffiti, and b-boy. Well, the MC, just a brief explanation, an MC is what we know by rappers people who sing rap. Uh, B-boy is those people who dance hip-hop. They, they have those acrobatic movements, acrobatic dances, and things like that. Graffiti, uh, we, we normally see in walls, trains, and which are paintings, most of all with sprays. Uh, people go and, and paint. And DJing, which is the most common, I guess. Uh, which consists in, in a series of, of movements like scratching and the, the man has discs and he plays with it. He makes instrumentals and, and things like that. Well, um, when most people uh, talk about hip hop, they see it uh, in a negative side. If we talk to a parent or to, to some parents, and we just talk about hip hop and they just, no, no hip hop, hip hop is bad. But why, what is hip hop? Hip hop has benefits and has detriments. Okay, many people just look at the detriments. And many people just see hip hop, uh, they, they just say, for the creators, for example, they say that uh, all the, pe the people that make, that create hip hop, especially the singers, they rose uh, the um, consuming of alcohol, drugs, and they call women bad names, and they don't teach anything um, good to the audience. But I would say that there are benefits as well for the creators. For example, um, you know, uh, hip hop, uh, especially for who sings, it's a good way of expressing himself, uh, themselves. They can express what they feel through the music. And they can, and hip hop is a is a, a cultural movement that has a lot of audience, especially from young people. And young people, when when they like a, 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 mu a musician or a rapper, they are willing to imitate what he does. And imagine if a rapper comes and says, um, "Okay, let's let's smoke weed," for example. And most of the people, yeah, yeah let's smoke weed, but. We wouldn't it have the same impact if he just came and say, uh, let's uh, save the children, let's not mistreat the women, let's uh, let's be kind to our next to our brother. Uh, wouldn't it have the same uh, the same impact? The, I mean, I think the young people would do the same, and they do when they pass a positive message. And for many of the parents, they just say that their children don't learn anything from hip hop. Because when they don't have what rappers say that they have in their music, they have cars, they have girls and stuff like that, uh, what will a poor children do? They will steal, they will uh, sell drugs and things like that, but it's not all of that. As I just said, they can learn positive things. And many people that can't sing you know, they, they see a rapper uh, expressing that self-confidence, they see a rapper um, saying uh, good things, or things that he passes through but he can't express through the music, and he identif identifies himself. And 
like a rapper is kind of a voice of a community, a voice of the oppressed people. Uh, in my work, uh, I separated. Um, it is a um, an image of two two lyrics. I think I won't have time to show because I, I have short time to present. But it, there were two lyrics. A positive, uh, the one that I consider I consider it as a positive lyric. Which, is, which was talking about a story of a girl that got pregnant and she had to run away from home. And another letter that I consider totally useless because he was just saying that he got this and he got that and he wants this and that. Which is the kind of lyric that many people um, talk about when they talk about hip hop. So hip hop has the positive side and the negative side, has the storytelling, has the positive message, and has the the nonsense style as as many others uh, movements. So uh, I did a survey here at Southern Polytechnic uh, involving teachers, uh, class, uh, some students from 30 years old uh, up, and some workers. And it was pretty interesting because I could uh, have lots of information about what they think about hip hop. And I made a qu and the question I made was, what will be your stance if your 16 year years old son or daughter just came to you and asked uh, that I want to get involved in hip hop by singing, doing graffiti, being a DJ, or uh, being a b-boy? And the people had three options, yes, no, and maybe. And I left a bracket for additional comments. And it was pretty interesting because some people just saw it and they said, hip hop? No. And, but then they saw four elements and they, and they didn't understand exactly. And I had to explain it. Hip hop is not just about rapping. And so, okay. Uh, many people, the surprise, the, surprise, uh, the surprising fact is that many people uh, voted yes for singing. Most of them voted no for graffiti because they say it's, it's illegal and people, um, they just paint the walls of the street. They, I mean, it's not good. So it was pretty interesting. Uh, graffiti was the most denied part of hip hop by, by the people. And DJs and uh, MC were the, the, the part of hip hop that many people accepted to give support. And especially when, when they said, uh, many people said, uh, whatever that makes my son happy. And it's pretty important to see that parents are willing to, to follow that, to follow their children uh, doing the positive thing, even through hip hop, which is connotated um, with a negative dress, I would say that. And uh, just uh, before I finish, I would say that, okay, hip hop in young people's life, okay, it can be okay. But how does it affect the society? Is it good or bad? Well, I will I would give you some examples of how hip hop have been, have been used to it. We have a rapper, uh, United States has a rapper, it's called Talib Kweli, and he just performed a single where he criticized, or he shows his opposition uh, to, the, um, to a new immigration law issued in Arizona. You know, they just don't get, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's kill someone and let's, we don't accept, so let's throw rocks and stuff like that. They sing, they, they show their stance through their music. Uh, Angola and Mozambique, they also have rappers that they do the same. Uh, we have, for example, in my country, I have rappers like, uh, he, he call, he's called MC Kappa, Iconoclasta. They, you know, they, they are rappers that represent the voice of the people. They, they take their problems and they speak through the music, especially because my country is not a democratic country at all. So they, they are courage, courageous enough to, to go to, and to, to represent the people as, uh, to, through their music. So I would say that hip hop is a movement that will keep, will keep on growing. Of course, we will still, unfortunately, having the negative side with people talking bad things, but there will always be people 
uh, available to speak the positive, to pass a good message, and there will always be people uh, available to learn from it. And and we had a, an example of IT. Many people, many rappers decided to to unite themselves to to work with their fans to help IT. So it can work. Hip hop can be a positive uh, force to help the society grow. And that was my presentation. Thank you. I have one, but I think we have several questions. Uh, can you say that for hip hop, the singing and DJ people and graffiti? Yes. Which one do you like? Or well, uh, I'm a really big fan of hip hop, so I like four of them. But um, as as a fan, I would say that uh, I consume or I hear, I listen more to like, to rap. Right, music like singing, singing, MC. Are hip hop singers always men? Are there not women involved in hip hop? Uh, yes, but uh, you know, as in every thing in, in the society, women have been excluded from almost everything. So now that we live in a new era, we have women working, women doing stuff like that, and hip hop, and hip hop as well. So uh, we have women in hip hop. That we have, we've been having more and more women, but why? Because one decided to start, and she's inspiring everyone else. So we've been having more and more women. Mm -hmm. Another question. Do you feel 